What's going on, y'all? I'm Joe Banks, and we're chefing it up. Here, let me do a chef vision on this. Today, we're doing cherry coke ribs. All right, this is one of my favorite recipes, and I've been doing it for years. Now, when you're dealing with ribs, first thing you gotta do is take off this membrane back here. Three simple seasonings for my uh, ribs. We have salt, pepper, and Redner's garlic powder. We are 12,000 miles away from the nearest Redner's. Who knows how it got here? Now let's get some seasoning on these bad boys. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take these ribs, put them on a sheet pan, and throw them in the ovens. 350 for about two hours. First things first, you wanna check your oven and make sure that nothing's in. What the heck? What broad left all this plastic wear in the dog on oven? Redheads. All right, what we're gonna do now is uh, pour the cherry Coke into the pot and we're gonna reduce it. It's gotta be on high because we want it to boil. If you can get your cherry coke flatter than this, that's cool. But it's all right. It'll flatten itself out when it heats up. Once this comes to a boil, we're gonna reduce it down to a simmer and let it reduce some. So I'm gonna add just about this whole thing of cherry preserves. Oh yeah. When you add the cherry preserves, you gotta watch yourself because if you keep it on high, it's gonna burn the cherries at the bottom. So you're gonna wanna turn it low. Maybe about six or so. And let it simmer. Because if you don't wanna burn it, you know. Alright, so we're gonna make a slurry. So what I did was take some of the boiling's goods and put some of the juice back in here and chill it. Because when you make a, the slurry later, which is just cornstarch and some of the uh, sauce, we're going to make a slurry out of that. And it's going to help thicken it. So what we're going to do is put it in the freezer, cool it down some, and use that for our slurry later. Get some cornstarch here. Mix it up real good. You gotta break up the little beads. Cause you don't want cornstarch dumplings. You know what I mean? Alright, just put the slurry in. And we're getting it nice and thick. Oh yeah. Alright, when your ribs, I mean when your sauce do that. That's when you know it's nice and thick. So you can pull this off if you want, or you can let, even let it go a little bit longer, but I'm gonna pull it. Due to the fact that us here at Chefing It Up forgot to set the timer, we're gonna have to go by 10. It's 155, it's 160, it's going to 165. That means it's done, baby. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take this sauce, Spread it on top of it, get a nice, nice coating of some cherry um, Coke sauce on it, and uh, then we're gonna add the cherries to it later. All right, put some sauce on top of the ribs. Now I'm gonna put it back in for about 15 minutes, and then it's ready to eat. All right, time's up. Let's see how these ribs are looking. Oh yeah! All right, now we're getting our cherries, putting them on top, and this is what you get when you clean it, you season it, you cook it, and then you cherry it. I'm Joe Banks. This is the assistant. Hello. We're gonna eat some ribs because we just chefed it up. Mmm. Oh, it's good. Ah, it's right off the bone. Yeah, it's good.
you're not really supposed to talk with your mouth full, but since, you know, this is talking on a show, mm -hmm. I think a lot of that was slide. Mm -hmm. Good stuff.